Hey guys, uh, what's going on? Danny Please here. Have some quick free for all action going on here on Hijacked. I am playing an old Call of Duty. I know that may upset some people, but uh, Black Ops 2 is my homie. And uh, that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to upload what I enjoy. Um, however, it is not me uploading this video. I do want to give thanks to Thunder for having this video on his channel. I appreciate it. I'm trying to get some exposure. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of my subscribers on my channel are kind of dead. Um, you know, I took a big, long break from YouTube for probably about six or seven months, and so... A lot of my viewers and fans have gone inactive, and so I figured it would be time to um, try and pick up some new people. So I hope you hope you enjoy this. Um, let's not try and crucify me too much for maybe some type of weird commentary thing that I do that you're not used to. I don't know, but uh, that's not what I want to talk about today. Let's not waste this whole video thanking and praying and praising and everything like that. There's no time for that. Uh, I, I do want to talk about some things. Uh, the topic that I thought that I would talk about is um, remasters of old Call of Duties, and uh, do I think do I think that they could happen? And I do. Um, now, of course, uh, when it comes to releasing games, it's all about money, and people don't really like that, but uh, that's just how it is. When you live in the United States and certain first world countries and what have you, uh, there's always going to be money that's trying to be made and uh, when it comes to releasing games um, it all depends on how much money that you're gonna make and if there's money to be made there's a game to be made <laughs> um, and so um, I do think that there's money to be made with remasters now I don't know if they're gonna if this would be separate or if it would just be like a bundle but uh, if I had to pick maybe one or two Call of Duties that I think would be remastered. I would probably have to go with, of course, the infamous COD 4, because I, I do believe it's one of the greatest shooters of all time. And uh, I'm sure some of you would agree with me on that. And also MW2. Um, now, obviously, I think with remasters, they would just fix it up, you know, uh, better graphics, stuff like that, fix a couple problems that may have been... Uh, issues in the actual games. Um, now I know, and you know, I mean, if you, if you try and jump on COD 4 or Modern Warfare 2, if you try and jump on those, uh, you know, in in today's time, I mean, you're just gonna be setting yourself up for disappointment because it's just going to be a whole lot of quick scoping and hacked lobbies, and you know, you join in thinking that you're gonna have a good time and you don't have a good time because the guy on the enemy team is running in the sky and uh, quick scoping you through walls and it's just not a good thing. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I think that there could be a remaster somewhere. At least those are the two that I would choose. Um, but maybe there could be some type of bundle pack or something, as I said before, maybe where you just remaster all of them and just throw them all into one. Um, however, I think there would need to be some type of partnership deal because um, Call of Duty is made by three different companies now, and so you got Treyarch, Sledgehammer, and Infinity Ward, and so I think if you wanted to do a bundle of all of them, you'd have to get all of them in on it. Maybe split the sales in, in three or something. I don't know. I, I don't know how marketing works. I'm, I'm not a market specialist. I... Uh, I'm just thinking that maybe that's what it would be. But I do think it could happen. And uh, if it's going to happen, I do see it happening in the next couple of years, maybe like an anniversary thing. But uh, other than that, uh, I'll see you guys next time.